everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I was really enjoying the fall weather and so I thought I might as well film the fall favorites tag. I've seen a couple people do it and I just wanted to jump on the bandwagon and embrace my love for fall right now. So yeah, let's get started with the tag. is favorite candle. Now I don't have this candle on me right now even though you see a candle burning in the background that isn't the candle I'm going to talk about. My favorite candle for fall is from Bath and Body Works and it's their sweater weather candle. I just love that. I don't know, I'm pretty sure I did a fall tag last year and I probably mentioned that candle as well because it is still my all time favorite. I do love really sweet candles but this one, I don't know, it just speaks to me. It is lit and it honestly makes me think of like crisp outside air. That's what it smells like to me, the leaves, the cold air and just being bundled up and I just, I don't know why, I love that candle. I hate winter, so you think I would hate anything that made me think of cold, but I just love that scent. Favorite lip color. I actually have two. I couldn't decide on just one because there are two colors that I wear all the time. The first lip combo that I'm going to talk about is the one I'm wearing on my lips right now. Now, of course, you can't start off a lip without a lip liner. I don't know. That's just me personally. I'm obsessed with lip liners now, so I cannot rock a lipstick, especially like a dark lipstick without a lip liner. So the lip liner I have been wearing with this lip combo is the Jordana Burnt Cherry. It's just the perfect color for the lipstick that I'm going to mention. It's just a very purpley burnt cherry color. I It just goes really well with this. And the lipstick that I've been loving is Milani's Sangria. It's just this very dark purpley reddish color. I don't know, I'm not good at explaining colors, but it honestly matches the lip liner so well. It probably just has a little bit more of a red tone than the lip liner, but it's just, oh, they're just the perfect little combo. And I know this is a dupe for one of Max lipsticks, but you know me, I'm all about the deals and dupes. And so I got Milani's and I love this. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this last year as well because it's still a favorite. But one thing different that I've been loving to do is pair this really pale lipstick on top. I feel it makes my lips look a little more pouty and big and not so flat because this is a matte lipstick. So the lipstick I've been loving to pair on top is actually like a super nude lipstick. This is by Maybelline and this is in their color Bare All. Oh, you can see that I put this on top of this. Let's get that purple off there. But honestly, it is just like the nudest nude. It's almost like concealer nude. Can you even see that? I'm not sure. But yeah, if you can see, it is right here. It is like the nudest nude. But I like to just put it in the center and you still have that really purple color. I just love putting it right in the center here. And it doesn't nude out that color at all. It just kind of gives it a little bit lighter so you get more of a pout in your lip. And I just really been loving this on top of it. Who would have known? I don't know what made me think to try this on top because it's such like a concealer color, but it really looks nice in the center here. I just love it. And the other color combo that I've been loving is more of like a mauve dark Kylie Jenner lip. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. But the lip liner I've been loving actually came in my... Ipsy and this is the one I love to pair with it. It's by Lord and & Barry and it's called their nude lip liner, but I really think of it it's more It's a very brown nude and that's why I love it because I don't have anything that is this brown in my collection And it just goes really well with this and the actual color I've been loving is by Laura Geller and it's called Mocha Mauve And it's just a very brown mauve color and I also do love pairing this nude on top of it as well. I just don't know. I'm just so obsessed with this because I feel like it just gives a little bit dimension but doesn't really take away the color. Like if you see, it doesn't take away the color. It just gives you that little bit of like a lighter and makes your lips look a little bit more full and pouty. So these have been my favorite lip combos. I just couldn't decide on just one and I had to give you the actual combo. I couldn't just give one color because really I haven't been wearing them all by themselves. So yeah, those have been my favorite nude 
not nude, my favorite lips for this fall season so far. That was a really long answer. It's such a simple question. Most people would be like, this is it. And I'm like, but I have this and this and this. <laughs> Favorite drink. This might come as a shock to all of you, but it's not a pumpkin spice latte. It just hasn't been my favorite. I've really been obsessing on this other tea that I wanted to share with you guys because oh, I was gonna put my monthly favorites because I've just I've been drinking it every day since I got it. It is the Tetley Warmth Cinnamon Spice with orange blossom. It's a herbal tea, it's caffeine free, which is perfect. As you know, I have a little baby and I'm breastfeeding, so I don't really like to intake too much caffeine, especially because my favorite thing is to drink this before bed. It just gets me all cozy and warm, and oh my gosh, the bag smells so good. I don't know, I'm just obsessed with cinnamon, and oh, it's so tasty, I just love it. So definitely has been my favorite. Favorite blush. Now this actually comes from my Tarte palette, so I don't know the exact name of the blush is but if you have this palette then you know I got this in the Christmas season it was like their Christmas release I'm pretty sure like their season holiday blushes maybe I'm making that up but I got it around Christmas but yeah it's this color right here it's kind of that really dusty purple color and I don't know I just love it I have it on right now and I'm just loving it. I don't know, at first I thought that it'd just be too dark and I wouldn't be able to pull it off because I'm pretty fair, but I just think with the dark eyes and the dark lips kind of getting into that fall season, it's just the most appropriate color. It just screams fall to me. I wouldn't wear it in the spring or summer. It's just what I've gravitated to as the weather has been getting colder. I just, I don't know, I feel like it really matches with all the looks I've been trying for fall. <laughs> Favorite clothing item. Now this might seem a little obsessive, but I'm clearly obsessed with my flannels. The struggle is real. <laughs> but the one I'm wearing right now is my absolute favorite, but I do own quite a few. <laughs> favorite fall movie, hands down, Hocus Pocus. Who doesn't love Hocus Pocus? Honestly, I get so excited every time I see it starting to play on the TV again. <sighs> if you guys don't know, Halloween is my favorite holiday, so I obviously love Hocus Pocus. Favorite fall TV show. Now this one I don't have an answer to. I just, I don't know. I don't really pay attention to what plays in the fall. Um, and I don't have anything that stands out to me that is a favorite fall TV show. So yeah, for that is the only one I don't have an answer to because I just couldn't think of one. <laughs> Easy to put it. Favorite Thanksgiving food. I feel like I wouldn't be doing my Ukrainian background any justice if I didn't say pierogies. I love pierogies. I'm obsessed with pierogies. That's all I think about when it gets close to Thanksgiving because I know when I go to my mom's place and we have Thanksgiving dinner, there's going to be a buttload of pierogies on that table and I am going to eat so much of them because they're always homemade and delicious and delightful and oh my gosh, if you haven't eaten a pierogi, where are you in this world? Like, what are you doing with your life? <laughs> Favorite Halloween costume? Now this question I wasn't sure how to answer. Last year I dressed up as a scarecrow and I was pretty proud of what I came up with. Uh, you can see in the picture right here. Um, I put a lot of effort into it and it was something so simple, but I got a lot of compliments on it and it was really fun to dress up as. I just, I don't know, I really liked that Halloween costume. I just felt like I outdid myself that year. <laughs> I don't know, but we'll have to see what I dress up as this year And then maybe that will take over that favorite. But anyways, that is all the questions for this Please tag leave in the comments What are some of your fall favorites because I would love to hear what you enjoy in the fall Please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already as well Make sure you check out last week's video which was what's in my diaper bag for two kids now And yeah, you can check out what I carry around now that I have two kids two and under other than that, please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy this video, and yeah, that's it. I love you guys to the moon and back, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!